And what a great place to be. Uh, a cruddy place to be, as uh, Babs might say. It's quarter past one. This is Talk Radio UK. 0345 10 53 89 on the phones. We're talking uh, films, uh, best lines in films, um, funniest lines in films maybe, best endings, worst endings, or weirdest endings. 0345 10 53 89. We're back after this. You're listening to Talk Radio UK, 1053 and 1089 medium wave, across England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. Anything you like on the phones, whatever you can, have a chinwag about, just call us up here, 0345 10 53 89. Uh, Bill is in Ilford. We got you back, Bill. Hello. Hello, Bill. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what do you got for us? Basically, I've just had the most diabolical day I've ever had, and I'm a bit cheesed off with people's attitudes. Can you flick your radio off for us, Bill? Basically, what it is... Yeah, I've yeah, Bill, 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 can you flick your radio off for us? Hello, it's off, yeah? Can you hear me? Good man, yeah. Tell us about your weekend. Right, well, basically, the old weekend's been cack. I was on a shit weekend, and to make it worse today, I come out my house, I live on a main road, and there's old Bill flying past. I nearly get run over by the old Bill. Yeah. So I've got a bit of juice. I've got a, a, a massive problem, you may or may not know this, Ian, with science fiction. Right. I can't get my head around that Star Trek malarkey, you see. So anything that's sci-fi-ish, I always think Star Trek, Star Trek, you know, and the alarm bells sound. Well, I mean, I'd stay well away from 2001 A Space Odyssey if I were you. It's like heavy sci-fi, is it? Completely mental. Oh, dear. Completely. So it'll, like, blow my mind, will it? Well, it certainly blew my mind. Right. I'd stay well away from it. Well, hey. Well, hey, hey. Maybe it's the one to see, then. It could well be. Could be it could be the, be, be the sci-fi epic that, that, that turned, me can turned be my view. Science fiction. I'll be going to Star Trek conventions before you there know you it. There you go, you'll be putting your Mr. Spock ears on oh, and your, your Klingon walnut on your head. I'll have the lot. That's it. I can see it now. Your wee walkie-talkie thing, the, whatever. The, that's right, the biggest turnaround ever in sci-fi news. You never know. <laughs> that could be it. Nice one, Ian. Can I tell you a quick joke? Is it clean? Very clean. Go on. Bloke goes into a pub with his pet giraffe. And um, he orders a pint, one for him, one for his giraffe. The pair of them are drinking away, right? And the giraffe's matching the bloke, pint for pint. Ten pints, fifteen pints, twenty pints. All of a sudden, the giraffe just keels over, falls flat on the ground. The bloke looks at the giraffe, shrugs, and turns to walk away. And the barman says to the bloke, Hey, listen, you can't leave that lion there. The bloke says, That's not a lion, it's a giraffe. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. OK. See ya. Oh dear, that was just awful. Darren in South End. Hello. How are you? Good morning. I'm not bad, yeah. Great. Yeah, how's South End? Very nice. Because I'm you. told that's the place to be. Um, could be. Mm. Could be. It's very nice when the weather's nice. Still doing barbecues on the end of the pier, are they? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. Right, I've got a few. I've been sitting on the line and I've come up with a few films. Firstly, um, one of the best endings, one of the most powerful endings ever, has to be Schindler's List. Mm, another one I've not seen. It's incredible. I can't, but it's the kind of film, every time I go to the video shop, I keep looking at it thinking, do I, I mean, just, if you want an entertaining afternoon, you don't get out Schindler's List, this yeah? This is true, this is so, true. So it's the kind of thing I've sort of waited until, like, I'm in the right frame of mind to watch it. I don't think there is a right frame of mind No, to watch I, it, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure everybody, it. everybody said it's just, isn't, isn't the end where they use real footage? Oh, yeah, they, they all go around the grave putting stones around the grave mm. and it just just gets you really. Now that, that's the kind of stuff that would easily like bring a tear to me eye. Well, when Without I saw it doubt. in the cinema, my friends and I just sat there for about 20 minutes afterwards with tears rolling down our faces. Yeah, that's the, anything, it, anything like that, it just does me in, you know? Yeah. But anyway, go, going on from that, one of the poorest endings has to be the end of Escape to Victory. What happened there? Well, they just sort of like finish the game at a draw and then the crowd rush onto the pitch and they all get smuggled out. And that's it. Oh, do they? Yeah, that's it. Oh, great. That's it. That's the end. And that's all that happens? Yep. That's the end of the film, basically. Wonderful. And I've got two lines from films. Yeah. Because you said Monty Python, and uh, that got me thinking. From the Holy Grail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has to be, we are the knights that go knee. Knee, knee, knee. <laughs> yes. That has to be a funny line, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and I forgot the other one. So it wasn't that memorable. Yeah, there's a... Uh... 
Do you remember the meaning of life? Yeah, it was from the meaning of life. But it, I think it was, um, can we ask you a personal question? And they ask her, are you a virgin? And she goes, personal? How much more personal could you get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's quite a funny life. What's the, oh, it's the life of Brian, isn't it? When they, and a lot of people I know are upset by the life of Brian when they've got the um, uh, the wise men turn up. Yeah. And uh, she says, no, you can't come in. She says, well, we've got presents. <laughs> All right, come in. <laughs> <laughs> it is brilliant. It is brilliant. <laughs> you should, I mean, some argue, you know, we shouldn't be laughing at that kind of stuff, but I don't know. I, I don't think, think that... at the end it just, it's so funny. Mm. you just got to laugh along with it. Yeah, yeah. I... The, um, the, the meaning of life, of course, was the great Mr. Creosote, wasn't it? Well, uh, I was stuffed. Yeah. I was stuffed. But it's only way for a fin. <laughs> that is brilliant. I think they're, they're the most talented comedy team of yeah. all time. And I, I, I've totally forgotten. I went into a record shop the other day, and I was looking through these, like, CDs, and there was a Monty Python one in there, and I was looking at all, like, that's got the uh, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life, yeah. and all their songs. And in the meaning of life, there was a song in there that I'd totally forgotten about called The Penis Song. Do you remember that? Is that the one with uh, with about the condoms? I think. Well, there's there's every sperm is sacred. Oh, that's Do you remember that? that? One, yeah. That's every when sperm. Michael ba Michael sacred. yeah <laughs> Michael Palin comes home and says to about thirty thousand kids that he's got. I'm ever so sorry. I'm going to have to sell you all for chemical experiments. I can't afford to keep you. The mill's closing. I've got to sell you all. Oh, Dad. There's too many of you. Shouldn't have you worn a condom? And it goes on and on and on, doesn't it? And, uh, and just the idea of all these little four- and five-year-olds dancing and singing every sperm is sacred. Yeah. It's wonderful. Good on you, Darren. Can I ask you one more thing? Yeah. How can you not get into Star Trek? How can I not? Now, you've disappointed me now. You're talking Monty Python on one hand, and then you're a crunching gear change into yeah, Star that's, Trek. That's, that's fair, Star Trek. fair comment. Fair, Darren, you're yeah. a god. How fair do, comment. How get into Star Trek, Hang Colin. On. Can, I what, can I tell you what my friends and I used to do? Go on, please. Right. We, we, I don't have Sky. Right? No, I don't either. One of my friends had Sky, and when the new generation was, the next generation was on every night, she used to tape them all, and we used to sit down on a Friday night and watch five hours of Star Trek. Oh, my oh, Lord. Oh, Darren. Yes. Darren. Yes! <laughs> Darren, you, yeah. you know, you don't have Sky. You know what else you don't have? What? A life. Oh, come <laughs> on. Star Trek is, is, is brilliant. I mean, come on, Darren. I, I, not I five know. hours worth, it's not. Oh, it's wonderful. This, I mean, th this is Darren in Southend who's just gone from quoting about five of the best ever films, <laughs> Oscar winners, starring the greatest actors of our time with the best directors and the best scores and everything, and then in the same breath dares to utter the immortal words, Star Trek. Cool. Come on. Cool. No, no, you can't just what is going on? What kind of existence is that in Southend? We've got all my friends around and watch five hours of Star Trek. Did, did, you, ever, did you ever watch the old series? The old series. I never watched any series, but Darren. It was classic. It was just so brilliant. And I bet, you, cheek and I bet you had. Um, <laughs> I bet you had dandelion and burdock as well, didn't you, as a drink? No, well, what's wrong with that? Well, see, isn't that a trekkie drink? <laughs> oh, it's great. We always get the friends around. We watch Star Trek and drink lots of fizzy pop. How can you not know? I don't understand. And then it. afterwards, we all play trekkies. <laughs> you got I mean, you've, you've got to watch it. You've got to watch it. To no, actually, it. That, that's where you're wrong, Darren. No. I haven't got to watch it, and I won't start. Why not? Because it's sad. It's not sad. I've seen enough to know that there is something very suspect about Star Trek. How many, how many times have you watched it? Oh, three or four times. I've caught bits of it. I think you've only it three or four times. Yeah, but there's certain things, I mean, there's certain things you don't have to watch a lot of in order to conclude that it's just not right. Oh, it's, but it's superb. And I, I'm afraid very early on, from the age of kind of like 10 or something, I remember, uh, I can't, was it on BBC Two or something then? Yeah, yeah. And um, I remember thinking, hang about. <laughs> this, hello? <laughs> I don't believe it. Something's happening, Darren. But not as we know it. What's going on? Has that made you happy, Darren? Yeah, it's brilliant. We thought we'd give you a little dose of it That's there. That's superb. You've made my night now, I think. See, or my morning, even. See you later. See ya. Set up. Uh, Darren was in South End, and of course he's due to have surgery soon. Let's go over here to Mid Glamorgan. Karen. Hello. Hello. How Hello. are you? Morning. Morning, morning. I've got a few things from film. Oh, I've just bit my tongue. Hang on. Isn't that the worst thing in the world? Have you never done that? No. You've never bitten your tongue? No. Never? Not that I can remember. You've never bitten your tongue in your life? Did it, is this what I found out to talk to you about, biting my tongue? No. Oh. What did you find out to talk about? I found out to talk it's about It's just how... difficult when you've just bitten your tongue, you see. Um, 
Have you seen the film Dream Lover yet? Have you bitten your tongue like never? Not ever, ever? I, not that I can remember. You've never bitten your tongue? Possibly, yeah. You might have done. Maybe you did it in your sleep. Maybe you're right. You could have done. And now I'll never know. Now you'll never know. Anyway. That's quite spooky. That is spooky. The idea that you can do that kind of stuff to yourself in dreams is unbelievable. Don't Talk to me, Karen. What have you got for us? Um, have you seen the film Dream, Dream Lover as yet? It's, it's Dream fair, Lover? It's fairly new on video. Who's in it? James Spader and some absolutely gorgeous woman. Well, I don't know, I don't know her name. <laughs> so what happens in it? He meets this incredibly beautiful woman who everybody falls in love with and um, marries her very quickly. And she's into everything he is. She's basically everything. She knows everything about him prior to meeting him. That's and spooky. It's all planned. It's all planned. And I can't tell you the ending because it'll absolutely ruin it for you. Mm. But she, she planned the whole thing. And she gets him incarcerated. She get in, no, she gets him sectioned into a mental institution because she makes him hit her. And um, what's he called again? James Dream Lover. It's absolutely amazing. This isn't the cut. Oh no, no, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, the, I know there's one just come out, isn't there? About um, like sexual harassment. Where oh, a, a that's woman, Demi Moore. That's it. Yeah, um, I was thinking of that. Ugly face. When she gets him to sexually harass her or something, or the other way around? Disclosure, is it? That's the one. Yeah, yeah. No, she sexually harasses him. That's it. That's the one. And no one believes him, do they? Yeah. Because he's... Is Michael Douglas in that as well? Yeah, ugly face. Ugly face? Yeah. Do you know he speaks so well of you, Karen? Yeah, that's right. Anyway. Anyway. Do you want to know the best line from the film? Yes. Ever. True Ever. romance. Christian Tr Slater. Oh, yeah. The woman looked like... She's she a great actress. The actress. Christine Slater, yeah. I take it you're not a fan. What of Christine Slater? I love seeing all her films. Did I, is that what I said? She was great. Didn't I say Christian? She's Christian Slater? Yeah. Oh, her brother. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Christian Slater, yeah. And um, he says that the lady was so ugly. She looked like she fell off the ugly tree in every branch on the way down. <laughs> oh, Except there was some... Um, Strategically placed swear words, but I can't. Of course, do that. just in the middle. Mm. Well, you could have done, but no. we'd have had to have cut it out. Yeah. Wonderful. And the most weird film? Yes. No. No? Yes, the most weird film. Yes. <laughs> yes. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Fire Walk With Me. That is strange. Is that weird? It's very strange. It's an odd experience, is it? Um. <laughs> it's strange. Strange, but true. My palms are itchy. Strange. Your palms are itchy. That's what it says in Twin Peaks, and you never know why. My palms are itchy. That's a bit like I bit my tongue, isn't it? <laughs> Except I don't know what that feels like. I You've never, never bitten your it. tongue. <laughs> I don't reckon we get anybody on this phone who's never bitten their tongue, <laughs> apart from Karen in Migler Morgan. You know what it's like to bite your tongue, Karen? It's like having your leg hacked off with a big chopper. I'd rather have that happen to me. It's excruciating. And I've had a conversation with you. Ordinarily, if this was the weekend and I bit my tongue, you wouldn't see me for two days. I'd hide, I'd seek attention from medical people. But no, I carried on speaking. Because I'm a Christian Slater fan, that's why. Anyway, mm. anything else? No. Wunderbar. Have you finished insulting me now? Karen, you're wonderful. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. She's mad. Talk Radio UK, 0345 1053 89. We're talking tongue biting. I can't believe she's never bitten her tongue. Everybody's bitten their tongue. Well, maybe someone else bit it for her. This Careful. is true. Yeah, have you bitten somebody else's tongue? Hey, that's funny. Uh, Talk Radio UK, we're back after this. Call Premier Chat and enter a fascinating world of telephone fun. You can exchange messages with other callers online. It's a great way of chatting to people. And you have complete control over the situation, so you don't have to make contact if you don't want to. Calls are 39p a minute, cheap rate 49p a minute at all other times, and you must be over 18. You could make a new friend right now, so call Premier Chat right away on 0891 66 That's 0891 66 from Cablecom, West 1X, 7R. Thank you. Listen. Pay.
1059. G'day, it's Rolf Harris here, and you're listening to Talk Radio UK. <laughs> it's the talk of the nation. Carol Walthall. Duncan is in Manchester. Cyril Richard. Sally from Lancashire. Sally, good morning. Hello. My first caller this afternoon is Toby. What do you think? You're on Talk Radio UK. That is fabulous. I love that. <laughs> John's in Bedfordshire. John is calling from Middlesex. Good afternoon, John. You're on Talk Radio UK. Gordon from London. You're on Talk Radio UK. Brian is in Eastleigh. Brian, good morning. You're on Talk Radio UK. That's very fresh. Maybe we can do this on a regular basis. Aberdeen. Dover. Beltran. Manchester. Wherever you are, you can talk to the nation on the nation's new platform for debate and discussion. Call Talk Radio UK. Talk Radio UK. On 0345 10 53 89. It's the price of a local call. Wherever you are. So three four five ten fifty three eighty nine on the phones. Anything you like, in particular film news and film stuff and funny lines and endings. Uh, Rachel, hi. Hi. Thanks I'm, for hanging on. I'm finding from Plymouth. From in Plymouth. A, in a thunderstorm at the moment. That's why. Thunderstorm in Plymouth. in Plymouth. Yeah, lightning Never. was terrible. I thought I'd get on the phone. Are you scared? Sleep. No, well I'm not now. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Excellent. Wonderful. Right, I'm ringing up about <laughs> crunch. <Go on. laughs> I'm ringing up about really terrible films. And the most terrible film I've ever seen is the Steven Spielberg Jewel. And you get to the end, you, and he just goes off the cliff. Jewel? Yeah, remember he's being that, chased by a lorry driver for two hours? Oh, that thing! And you think, God's sake, you know, and then you get to the end and he falls off the cliff. That is... And you think, what a waste of two hours. You never see the guy in the lorry? <laughs> you don't know why he's chasing you him. You don't know who's in that lorry? No, it's such a waste of time. Just a waste of who is in that lorry? I don't know. Who did could you be in that? I mean, who could be in that lorry? That's I the question. No, who do you reckon? I've got no idea. Who could be? Who could be sat in the lorry in Jewel? <laughs> Everybody's seen Jewel. It's terrible. It's Dennis it? Weaver, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. The guy used to play McLeod. Yeah. But why is he chasing him anyway? Does anyone know? That's the other. He stops off to get some petrol or something, <laughs> no, doesn't he? No, he uses the phone. Like, he only wanted a fiver's worth of four star, for goodness sake. This guy didn't ask for any of this. <laughs> and the next month, hello, was that a laugh? <laughs> yes. What kind of laughs that? If I had a lorry, I'd chase you with that laugh, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, God, I better go. I'm really bad. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. I'm going to go. Bye. Happy thunderstorms. Bye-bye. Talk Radio UK. 03 45 10 53 8 tonight. We go to Tring. Uh, Caroline, hi. Hello, Ian. Hello. Hello. I'm just talking... I, I want to talk to you about the weekend. Yes. Because the weekend has not ended yet. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't ended yet, because... Well, sort of. It's like Monday morning, isn't it? No, 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 it's not, no. Well, it might be Monday morning to you, but, it, I mean, it's not over yet, is it? Because it's not over till it's over, Caroline. No, it's not over until it's over. Who sang still... that? Was it... Len... What? Who sang that it ain't over till... Was it Len... Lenny Kravis, wasn't it? Oh, God. Kravis. It ain't over till it's... That's... Yeah, I know. I've got these people in my garden... And we're just having a great time, and we're deciding that the weekend's not over till it's over. No. Shut up. Is that your friend? Yes, yeah, my friend Sarah. Mm -hmm. She's from Dudley. Dudley? She's from Dudley. From Lenny Henny country, yeah? <laughs> yeah, she's mad. Anyway, um... Hey, and, hey. And, uh, <laughs> hey, mate. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Look, look, look. Shut up, I'm trying to... I'm talking on the radio, OK? Shut up. Shut I'm up. A good party. Shut up. Anyway, Ian. Yes? Listen, I've got to talk to you about the end of a film. Yes. The end of a film, the best end of a film. Best ever. Carrie. Carrie. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's like um, when when she sticks her hand up, isn't it? When the hand comes up, it's what a great ending. That is just like an Doesn't ending. Doesn't it make you? Doesn't it make oh you? My oh God, my your life. Heart your heart, your hand. In your, in your mouth, and you have a Sorry? nightmare, don't yes. you? Don't you just go? Don't you just go? Oh, oh my God! That's I mean, funny. You do. <laughs> that is that's up. what. <laughs> my friend Sarah from Dudley. Dudley. She is in the West Midlands. Me, <laughs> she's giving me a nightmare. Is she really? Here. And I'm trying to talk to you about Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Carrie. What, what an ending. That was Sissy Spacek, wasn't it, or something? Sissy Spacek, exactly. Yeah. And the first time I ever saw that film. Yes. Shut up! Go on. When, when, I, when I, the first time I ever saw that film, yes. it was just absolutely fantastic. I was in the cinema and I jumped out of my seat and I just went, 
I reckon I, I was in that cinema with you, Caroline. Were you there? I think I might have been there. I think you might have landed on there? my lap. Oh, my God. I mean, I, every time, every <laughs> time... <laughs> will you shut up? Will you shut up? Every time I see that film, even if I watch it on video, I'm still scared. I and definitely, I know the ending. I definitely... You were definitely in that same cinema as me. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, fantastic, though. Fantastic. I mean, if what, I watched it now, in the cinema, I would still go... <laughs> I would still scream my mm. head off and I would die. Anyway, listen. I'm got, listening. Listen, listen, listen. This is, this is, we're talking about the weekend now. Yes. The, the weekend has been so fantastic. What I have you done? I can't begin to tell you about have you, it. What, what have you done then, Caroline? We've, um, we, well, we, we've just, um, we've been on a bit of a bender, actually. Have you? <laughs> I'm very, I'm very pleased for you. And we've had a lot of fun. And today it was very hot. So we sat in my garden. Yes. And Thank I've got you. this lovely garden in Hertfordshire and Tring. Oh, and, yeah. And um, lots of friends around and drinking and eating and everything. Um, and, and we got drunk and, because, like, Boris Becker... Oh, uh, and Boris Becker lost, and that was terrible. But we, I don't really you care. You wanted Boris Becker to win? No, well... How can you want Boris Becker to win? He's got ginger hair. Yeah, but, you know, I don't know. Hang on, I'm not a tennis expert. Why do you want Boris Becker to win? You want Boris Becker to win? Yeah, I want to They, want they wanted Boris, Boris Becker to win because Pete Sampras always wins. Why do you like Boris Becker? Well, I don't. I don't... Actually, I don't care. Are you into redheads or something? Yeah, but, like, shut up. I don't care who wins. I, do, I couldn't care less no. who won. But, anyway, we had the telly out in the garden and we watched it. And it was very interesting. And, um, but we then, then we danced to ABBA. We danced to ABBA all afternoon. And now we're still dancing to ABBA. We've got, we've got a bit of music Which on. Which one did you like in ABBA? Which one? Yeah. Which one do I like? Yeah. Who was Which... the best woman? The, the, the blonde one or the one with the red hair? Oh, Agnita, definitely. She was the best. Yeah, the red haired, yeah. Oh, definitely. She Without a doubt. So cool. No doubt about that. But then again, you know, what's the other one called? One by four. Bernie, what's red. the other one called? Frida. Frida. She had great boots. Great, great boots. Bo great, great boots. Satin, satin ah, it's outfits. gorgeous. Oh, fantastic. And we were reenacting that, you know, that scene from the 70s. That must we were be good. We were di disco dancing in mm. my garden. And it was, it was fantastic. And uh, I've just got to tell you, Ian, that the weekend's not over yet. No. And it's not going to be over until at least... What time do you finish your show tonight? Uh, six. Okay, that's when the weekend's over. Yeah. We're going to listen, and we're going to be here. We'll be listening to you, but we're going to be playing a little bit of ABBA. Good in idea. The meantime, yeah, that's all right. We're going to be disco dancing yeah. and have a great time. But I've got, you, you have to talk to my friend Sarah now. From She's called Sarah. She's from Dudley. Can I just say, Caroline? What? I think I've fallen in love with you. Oh, well, should we meet up? I think we should. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in love with you, too. Good. But I really... You've got to be speak to my friend Sarah from Dudley. All right, put Sarah okay, on. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec, because she'll tell you exactly what's been going on. And, um, hey, have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, Caroline. Hey, ciao, babe. Take care. <laughs> hang on, here's my friend Sarah All from right. Dudley. Hang on. You're right. Is that Sarah from Dudley? Yeah, you're right. How are you, Ian? That's a great accent you got there. It's not bad, Sarah. Is it? I'll just have to, uh... I've got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure you have. I love you, Ian. I know you do. And it's really great because it's summer and it's hot and it's England. And it's gorgeous. And it shouldn't be hot in England, really. No. Good, but it is. Listen, I've got to go. Oh, bye. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Talk Radio UK. Whoa, I can make a lot of money. <laughs> no, I can't say anything, can I? I can't say anything. Paul in London. Hello. Hello, Paul. Hi, Ian. Yeah, how are you? Um... I want to give you a bad ending for a film. Yes, please do. Jaws. Jaws. That really gets on my nerves. Which one? Number one or two? Or... All, well, All of number, them. From number one to number four. Number four was terrible. Because it's like, he blows up and he just comes back again. Yeah, every time. I mean, what is it with that shark? Oh, it really gets on my nerves. <laughs> I was just watching it again. My little sister loves it. When it came out, everybody said... I mean, I, I remember it when it came out, but I don't remember it being down as, like, the scariest thing ever. No. Although they've suddenly said that, you know, since Psycho, it was apparently like the worst thing that ever came out of the cinema. Yeah. The most frightening thing, but was it? 
All right, Bob. Okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Talk Radio UK, 0345 1053 89. Richard's in Bournemouth. Hello, Ian. Hello. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm a cigarette here. That's all right. Um, what have I got here? I was actually, I thought I was having a bad weekend until I heard um, about Bill's weekend there. Bill? Yeah, he was got beaten uh, up in a shop or something. Yes, so, and yeah. uh, taken down a police cell yes. and everybody was miserable in the park. Yes, he, he's made my life much better after hearing his bad weekend. My yes. weekend doesn't seem so bad. What, happened, actual, with you, what happened with yours then, Richard? Oh, no, I was just working, really. Kind of run of the mill I, I've got a bad job. Have you? Yes. What do you do? Well, you know when you're going down the M1 or the M27 or anywhere? Oh, yes. And you see rows don't, and rows of cones. Don't, don't. You're not going to tell me you put cones out. No, no, I don't put the cones out. You make them? If, if you're going past there, speeding past me, give me a wave, because I'm the guy with the bucket and the sponge and I'm cleaning them. You're cleaning the cones? <laughs> Seriously? Someone's got to do it. Do you get paid per cone? Oh, I do, actually, yes. Do you really? Yes, well, per, per mile, actually. Per mile? Per mile. That's why I always put the cones close in together. Sorry, further apart. I'll so spread you, can, them out a bit. you can get a few more miles out of it. Yes. It's been not a tricky. I was quite impressed by... Uh, no, no, actually, can I just correct you on that? What's that? It, it's not a pity that I'm not a trekkie. It's quite <laughs> good that I'm not a trekkie. Well, I thought, Darren, later, just uh, later on there, I thought, um, well, us trekkies have got to stick together, I think. Well, I think all seven of you have to, actually. <laughs> yes, I think both of us. I'm right about that. Both of us. Anyway, I think uh, the worst line in the film um, is a film called Phantasm. I don't know if you've ever heard it. Phantasm? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a B-movie. Oh, yeah. Um, there's people hanging around in a crematorium and people are getting their arms and legs chopped off and this ball keeps flying around in the air. Nice. And hits people in the head and they, it drills it through the head. And at the end of the scene, somebody says, I don't know, but I think something really strange is going on here. There's observation. That's a really bad line. But going back to airplane, yes. obviously there's classic lines in there, but I think one of my favourite is everybody's got food poisoning on the plane, haven't they? And uh, the doctor's going over and looking after one of the, um, the passengers there and turns around and says, we've got to take this person to a hospital. And he says, <laughs> yeah. what is it? Well, it's a, a, a building full of doctors and nurses, but <laughs> that's it's not right. important now. <laughs> that's right. But I do like, going back to Monty Python, I yeah. do like the, the Spam song. You know, the Spam, spam Yeah, spam, I remember spam. that, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Wonderful. Like Classic. OK, Richard? Yes. Good on you. Thanks for your call. Talk Radio UK. We're on 0345 10 89. Don't go away, Andy. Or Andy. To Andy. So, Dave. Um, we're back on the phone in just a tick. We're talking anything you like because it is, of course, totally free for all. A free for all Monday, which means if you want to giggle, if you want to reminisce about the odd film, you can do that too. Uh, bad endings from films, uh, great lines from movies, and other stuff associated with films as well. And uh, we'll talk about great cliches and sayings in a moment as well. So we'll do all of that, plus a little bit more out of the news at 2. It's 0345 10 89. That's 0345 10 89 on the phones. I'm Ian Collins. We have the Creatures of the Night with us as well. They are Mike and Kev. And you have time to fax us as well. 0171 636 10 it's the talk of the nation on 1053 and 1089 Medium Wave. This is Talk Radio UK.